We can design an inventor and vault, creating our assemblies and CAD drawings. But now we must communicate downstream with an ERP or an MRP system. Now we need to share usable information those systems can understand. Like many companies, Osgood Industries is taking their CAD data and manually creating a manufacturing bill of material by hand or with a spreadsheet. Creating bombs manually on spreadsheets is slow and error prone. Visibility into the rationale of a change as well as the traceability is non-existent. Product definition is incomplete, leading to delays or poor quality. Duplicating efforts because changes aren't communicated between manufacturing and engineering. Vault effectively closes this gap with the use of items. This translates design information into a purchasable solution. Osgood needs to take their new assembly to manufacture and supply chain. They need their manufacturing bomb to effectively capture all the existing CAD data and properties. Let's begin by making the items. It's easy to do straight from the CAD model. Then we can add non-model based items like grease, paint, or a service kit. Quantities can be controlled as well, where Osgood might need to purchase a spare servo motor. Also, any updates to the items are fully associative going back to the CAD file. Let's begin by creating an item. It's easy to do straight from the CAD model with the properties of the file getting written into the item. Let's add some items to the bomb that are not in the CAD assembly. Let's add a service kit. We can see that it contains several items, an extra gasket, oil, some zip ties. We can also easily add any supporting documents like a workmanship standard or vendor information. Let's renumber some of these items using the system's numbering scheme. They can be mapped, sequential, or follow a custom scheme. Now, let's update a servo motor's file name. I notice that the CAD data still has the old name. It can be synchronized, sending the properties to the CAD assembly, part, or drawing. Here, even at the drawing title block, we can verify that all the files have the latest and greatest information. We have full search capabilities right within the bomb. We can now go several layers deep, looking within our assemblies for buried components. Item quantities can be changed on the fly, like calling for 200 screws in case we didn't want to add all of those back at the CAD model. At the bomb level, we can also customize the fields, giving us greater visibility into our assemblies. Let's view the position number. Here in the bomb, we can sort, view, and change the item's position number. Let's add a spare servo motor to the assembly at the customer's request. Since the property fields are fully customizable, I created and am now adding a property called Spare Parts. Let's now use the search tool to add the servo motor. You'll notice the rows are duplicated. This allows us to view the same item with a different position number. I'm not required to release my components, but instead can do an export in order to purchase long lead items. The export can include custom properties, as well as provide a summary for review before sharing the information downstream. An early release of key components is a snap in Autodesk Vault. Choosing the items and changing the state is all that is required. The Bomb Compare tool allows us to visualize the ongoing changes along with automatically saving all revisions. We can see that the state of the servo changed along with the removal of an earlier kit. The Bomb Report allows us to utilize existing standard templates or to create our own. This allows us to output information we care about.
It provides easy to follow feedback of your lists. Now let's quickly release our entire assembly for manufacture. Here in the Item Master, we've seen the ability to go from concept to manufacture faster by leveraging our existing CAD data and creating files that can be shared downstream. The ability to execute from concept to manufacturing is crucial. Vault provides one central location where engineering and operations can collaborate not only on the CAD bill of materials, but on the supporting documentation as well. Using the Item Master allows the divisions and groups to get on the same page and always work on the latest document. Osgood Industries has received an order that requires a new design on an existing configuration, specifically a new cup holder assembly. Field Engineering has gathered some of the requirements and those can be put into any file format desired, such as PDFs, CAD doc, or Windows file. Also included, our early scheduling requirements from project management and estimated costs from supply chain and vendors. Here in the vault, we will do a search for existing CAD data and verify that the frame and cup holder are already complete. We now begin by creating the new item assembly. This will act as a placeholder when building this new assembly. Categories offer us the ability to group objects logically and even the ability to set up separate lifecycle definition or revisions to files. Engineering can start the project quickly, creating the basic item structure. Thumbnails confirm and make it easy to verify that we're using the right file. We can now add a new assembly that will be designed, creating a brand new item using its category and assigning the correct properties to get it started and act as a placeholder for all engineering data and documents as they're ready. Now other departments can get involved to make this even easier. Engineering can also create a folder where everyone else can collaborate in an even easier to find location. In proposals, we'll create a new folder for this specific job. We can drag and drop creating a shortcut link to our items. Field engineering can add their existing documentation straight from the customer via the web client. Now, project management can do the same thing directly from the web browser, adding their proposed schedule. Engineering received an email from a vendor. They can check that in directly using the Vault add-in. In the Vault Explorer, let's ensure that all the attached documentation is also associated with our new item assembly. A simple drag and drop associates these documents with the item master. The other subassemblies have longer lead times, so we can release those to procurement and supply chain allowing us to focus our attention on the new assembly that needs design and engineering work. Autodesk Vault allows you to leverage all of your existing designs and documentation in one location. Utilize a powerful top-down workflow with Item Masters.